hey what's up guys welcome to this new video so right here on the screen is this notification stuff and this is called web push notification now i'm going to show you exactly how to install this kind of a subscription stuff so visitors can subscribe to your website and be able to come back and see your content whenever you have a new one now this video was inspired by born to sing with a guitar he has been a brother to me my boss and um, he kind of dropped this comment and he said that uh, he wants to you know know how to install a kind of subscription stuff on his website so that whenever he has a new content he can you know uh, message those uh, people and they can come back they can see a notification on their phone you know they can come back to his website to view it and i thought it would be helpful to you guys and that's why i'm making this video for you guys okay so guys if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them on this channel so in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to install a web push notification i'm going to show you exactly how it works and everything you need to do you know for for it to be able to work for you now this is going to help you get more traffic or get more people coming back to your website whenever you have a new stuff or you have anything to share with them so they are going to receive notifications on their phone laptop or whatever you, they have or whatever they are using so to do that all we need to do is a wordpress we need a wordpress um website so you just need to log in the back end of your wordpress website so this is the website i'm going to be using this is the back end and i'm going to show you exactly how everything is so once you're here you need to go to this plugin section and go to add new plugin okay so the name of the plugin we are going to be using in order for us to have that web push notification is called one signal so just type i will search for one signal plugin and you want to search that and install and activate it so right here this is the one signal plugin and as you can see here this is the logo and what i want to do right now is to install the plugin and activate it and activate it sorry so as you can see right here i've installed it already and now i need to activate it so i'll just click on the activation or, or the activate um, button now after activating you're going to see this section here called one signal push so make sure you click on it and we can go through the setup process now we need to set up this thing and configure it in order for us to use it and to do that it's tell us to do it using three steps so the first thing we need to do is to make sure we have one signal account so you just want to right click here and open this in a new tab and create a one signal account okay so if you don't have an account yet just so just sign up for an account either you click here or you click on get started and you sign up for a one signal account now this is going to enable you or this is going to allow you work with their free plan or whatever in order for you to have um, this subscription stuff now as you can see right here below this place there's this bell icon same thing as to this side that i showed you this is the bell icon so this is exactly what you want to add and also this notification store so that visitors can be able to subscribe to our website with even with their smartphone or their laptop or whatever they are using to browse so that whenever we have a new content we can deliver it to them on their devices and they can come back you know to our website to you know read more so to do that once we are here we need to create an account in one signal push so once we've created an account you need to log in so i'm going to log in my account so this is my account and i'm logged in already so now the next thing we need to do is to go to this new app or website so we just click on new app or website because if you look at this place they said here we should create a web push app in one signal so that is exactly what you want to do we want to create a web push app in one signal so just click on that new app or website so once you click on it it's going to load and finally it's going to load up and you know show us what we need to do okay right here we are here on the screen now what we need to do is to select the option that best suit us now for this video tutorial for this sake we are working with um website so the web option is going to suit us so guys what we need to do right now is to select the option so we are going to select this web um option here and we are going to give our app or our website a name so we're going to impute our website name here so this is the website i'm going to be working with this is the name and this is what i'm going to use so once we do that we need to scroll down now and um continue configuration or click on this next section here and it's going to um, bring another options for us to select um 
the option that best suits us again so wait for it to load and we continue with the setup okay uh this is configuration yes so in this section right now we need to create we need to select um the kind of where our website is so for my case this is a wordpress website so i'll just click on this wordpress plugin and um once i click on it i'll have several options and of course i'll select wordpress because my website is on wordpress so um so after that i just scroll down here and now we need to fill in this detail so the first thing we need to do is to enter our site name and i'm going to do that and the next one we need to do is to enter our site url now we are going to do that including the https so i'm going to go to the website i want to install this push notification on and copy this url here including the https so just copy it and go back to this section go back to this section here and impute it and control v paste it here now once i've done that you need to turn on this one that says auto real subscribe https only so turn it on and once that is done scroll down the next thing we need to do is to upload our icon so if you look at this set website that i showed you this is the icon of the web push notification so that is exactly what we need to do so right now we need to select an icon so i'll just click on this upload section right here and um we're going to say this choose file so just click on choose file and we is going to allow us to be able to upload our own image so you can you just need to upload your website icon in order for it to show so i don't have any icon so i'm going to use this thumbnail but i'm going to crop it a little bit so it shows only this part and i'm okay with that so i'll just click on save and it's going to upload it so upload is complete as you can see here is the little image so it doesn't really matter so once that is done scroll down and i think we're good to go so just click on save here and it's going to save right now and provide us with the app key and api key so this is what we need in order for us to in integrate our wordpress plugin so this is our app id and this is the api key these two things are very very important now it's telling us to install wordpress and uh, install um the plugin on wordpress plugin and for us to copy these things and enter it but if you're following my tutorial you know that we have already installed the plugin so what we need to do right now is to click on this configuration section here and right now we need to enter our app id so i'll go back here and copy the app id and come back here and paste it so i'll just Control v paste the app id then in this rest api key i'll just come back here and um, copy this api key here and go back here and uh, paste the api key so i pasted the api key now um i've seen every other thing is good this safari you can do this later uh this is basically what we need we don't need any safari for now so um I've, I've you know imputed all the keys necessary so what i need to do now is to click on finish and go back to this plugin section here yeah i need to do a little bit of customization in order for it to be good so i'll just scroll down here you want to make sure that these two things are turned on so that whenever you have a featured post or image it's going to pull up the image of the post and send it to the to the people you want the notification to reach so turn it on and make sure you turn on this send notification additional to ios and android apps okay so guys right now the next thing we need to do is to um continue to set this thing up so right now make sure you turn this one on this send notification uh notification additional to ios and android applicable platform so make sure you turn it on and right now we need to turn on this um stuffs here this automatic prompt news visitors with one signal slide before native browser prompt so make sure you turn it on and um you need to turn on this ones too as well and um of course you can edit the button or the text that is going to appear but i usually just leave it the way it is so just do this, the ones i've showed you and um, leave the rest the way it is trust me you'll be fine with it so once that is done uh this one shows status message after sending notification so just leave it like that so once that is done just need to click on this save 
now this is going to save and we are going to see if what we did is correct or not so i'll go back to um one signal and uh, let's see so as you can see right here our web push notification is active on all browsers as you can see here active on all browsers and that you want to make sure yours is, is active on all browsers so once when, once we have this stuff right here right now um we are good to go so right now if you go if i go to the website as you can see i don't have any notification stuff here this is how the website was looking before and there is no notification stuff right here so but if i refresh this page i should see a bell icon uh at one of these um corners right here so i'm going to refresh it now and um it's loading 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 so we are going to confirm that the notification or the push notification is actually um, working so right here if you look at this corner here you will see that i have notification working right here and um it's as you can see here the bell icon is here now um i have notification blocked on this side already but if i had it enabled already you are going to see this kind of um prompt this kind of sliding that's going to slide in from top so once you see that you should know that it's working so now visitors can be able to um subscribe to notifications on our website so whenever we have a new post or new stuff we can you know send it out to everybody they have subscribed to our notification and they can click on it and come back to our um, website so they're going to see the notifications on their phones or whatever they have used to subscribe to our notifications before so you want to make sure you're following all the steps i showed you in this video as you can see right here the thing is active okay so you want to make sure you're following everything i showed you in this video so now once that is done now i want to show you something that is very very good as well so if you go back here to post and go to um add new post so let's say for example i have a new post i want to share with uh, my audience um from this blog i can after creating the blog post and hit publish it's going to automatically send it to everybody that have subscribed to the push notifications so it's huge okay it's so so huge so right now this is the title here i can you know just use this as a test and um, this one i can just say test so this is just like after you have written a blog post and um, you are good to go you have written everything and it's perfect you just need to you know scroll down you're going to see a section okay you're going to see a section where okay let's scroll down again so if you scroll down here you're going to see at this con at this top um bottom here uh, you're going to see this um option that said send notification on post publish so immediately i hit publish right now this um one signal is going to send this i'm going to send a notification to everybody that have subscribed to push notifications on our website so they are going to automatically see the notifications on their phone just like what you have on youtube once you subscribe and turn on the bell icon of my channel whenever i post a new video youtube is going to notify you immediately just that same way so this is going to help you get more traffic get free traffic returning visitors to your website and i want you to utilize it so i've showed you exactly everything you need to know so that is it exactly so if i hit publish it's going to show up so uh i just want to show you that so once you have done that the next thing you want to do is to make sure you go to this one signal um dashboard and go to dashboard so whenever you start getting people subscribing to your notifications you can get to track how many people have subscribed to your notifications right here you can see them the browsers they are using the phones the you know everything all the information you need to see you are going to find them here as you can see right here we don't have anybody that have subscribed to the push notification yet so that's why the that's why this dashboard section here is still empty but trust me once you have that you begin to see a lot of information right here and you can start managing the information and you know taking advantage of it now you can also create new push notifications for example you let's say you don't have a new content but you just still want to share uh, a push notification to your audience you still want to return them back to your website you can you know manually create that here and um, it's very easy you're going to see how the message is going to look like on chrome as you can see this is the 
uh, this is how it's going to look like on chrome you need to give it a title give it a message here uh, upload the image url and um then the launch url this is be the url that it will take them to whenever they click on um the notifications to see what you're talking about so it's very very simple and you can you know do that here you can make it you can specify time when you when you want to send a not push notification or you can send it immediately and so on and so forth there's a lot of things you can do here so it's very 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 simple okay guys i believe you enjoyed the tutorial and um by one way or the other i've been able to help you so this is going to help you get a lot of um visitors please make sure you implement this this is way way good it's even it's another more option you know to help you get more traffic and get more returning visitors back to your website so i believe um i've been able to show you something real good today if you are new to my channel guys make sure to subscribe turn on the bell icon this is kingsley from kinggovina.com so that you won't miss any other video once i drop them on this channel guys so um i believe you enjoyed it and uh, i don't know if i'm forgetting any other thing right now um but if, if you have any question of course use the comment section tell me in the comment section and i'll be there to answer your questions so we have push notifications up and running and uh, my notification is blocked so that's why um it keeps showing this but once it's yours once you finish setting it up yours is going to be looking good and you can be able to see that it's going to slide in just like what you have here on the screen so guys uh i, I hope i've been able to show you one or two things and you have been able to gain one or two things like like i usually say subscribe turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them so i'll see you guys in the next video guys um next video is gonna drop soon so i'll see you guys then subscribe if you haven't okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much